Do you want to know how to make an invisibility cloak? Well, keep watching, because on this episode of JoJo Science Show, we're going to make things disappear, play with lasers, and you really can't see John Cena. JoJo Science Show! Hey, y'all. Welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today, I have a really cool experiment for you to see. Or not see. We're going to build an invisibility cloak. You heard that right, an invisibility cloak. Also called the Rochester cloak. This was invented by scientists Joseph Choi and John Howell at the University of Rochester. And since I'm gonna be in Rochester soon, I thought we should show you some awesome science that was discovered there. When you cloak something, you make it invisible. Why did the invisible man quit his job? He couldn't see himself doing it. <laughs> what did the doctor say when the invisible man came to his office? I can't see you right now. <laughs> Have you ever wished you were invisible? Like that one time you got in really big trouble? You could try a shirt like this. Nah, that probably wouldn't work. Oh look, it's John Cena. John Cena says you can't see him when he does this. Do you still see me? Hmm, I guess that doesn't work on me. So we'll just have to use science to make me disappear. But you know what does work on me? This. Oh. <laughs> I already have the experiment set up here. So let's get to it. You'll need six lenses. One, two, These may look like just two lenses, but each one of them is actually two lenses taped together, so that's four lenses. Look, I made my eye disappear. Who <laughs> turned out the lights? Here. Just kidding, I don't see. John Cena, you should try this. You can't see me. The lenses take the light from the background, and then it carries it around the object into your eyes, so all you see is the background, but not the object and your brain thinks it's disappeared because your brain expects the light to travel in a straight line. We added lines in the background so you could see this effect more clearly. We got objects to disappear by placing them behind the second or third set of lenses. John Cena, now we really can't see you. Hey, where did my eye go? Oh, it's right there. Hey, where'd my nose go? Now I can't smell things. To see more clearly how the lenses were bending the light, we used a laser pointer and an aerosol can so you can see how it bends the light. Isn't that awesome? If you want to find out how to set up this experiment, there's an equation in the description below to help you calculate the distance between the lenses because the position of the lenses depends on what type of lenses you have. Thanks for watching JoJo's Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And hit the bell so you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And make sure that bell rings really loud. And remember kids, science is fun! Now I'm going to disappear. Bye. <laughs>